In 1969, at the height of their fame, the Rolling Stones were considered one of the greatest rock and roll bands ever. In the summer of that year, things go really genuinely bad. The band hits the headlines with a scandal no one sees coming, the death of guitarist Brian Jones. From that fatal night on, rumors start circulating about a death that was, well, more than any other premature rock and roll death, wildly curious. Is it an accident or is someone responsible? Is it a classic rock and roll alcohol and drugs overdose? Or is there, as some have alleged, foul play? I'll start with the facts. Brian Jones is found dead in his swimming pool at around midnight on the night of the 2nd of July, 1969, at his country mansion, Cotchard Farm. A few days later, the inquest swiftly declares it an alcohol and drugs-related drowning. I've been working with former Scotland Yard Murder Squad detective Brian Hook to start compiling a list on his investigations board. So Brian, what do we actually know about that night? We know a fair bit. I've actually got the coroner's inquest file here. Cause of death, drowning whilst under the influence of alcohol and drugs, misadventure. And who else was there that night? Anna Wolin, Brian's girlfriend, was there that evening. And a man called Frank Thorogood. Now, he was a builder. Brian was having a lot of refurbishment done on the house, and Frank was doing that refurbishment. But he was actually living in an apartment above the garage attached to Brian's house. So in the guest house? Yes. OK. And also, we have Janet, who was a nurse. It was thought at the time that she was having a relationship with Frank the Builder. And then lastly, we have Tom Keelock, who is employed by the Rolling Stones as a tour manager, but also as a minder for Brian. He says he didn't arrive until the early hours of the morning. 